Hello and welcome back to the channel guys. In today's video we're going to be swapping out the guts inside the SL55 front bumper. That's the 03 to 06 bumper. And we're going to be putting that inside the 05 and 06 SL65 bumper or the P30 bumper. Let's get into it. To start off, we're going to go ahead and tackle the fog lights first. We're going to take off a couple of these screws that are holding it in. Once those screws are off, the fog light just needs a nice little tug and it'll lift right up. Up next, we're going to go ahead and remove all these little tabs that are holding some of the internal components of the bumper in place. Because at the end of the day, the bumper is basically just a painted shell, a painted fiberglass shell. But it does have these little holes that you can put these little tabs in there that'll make all of the harnesses and the brackets fit on the bumper. And there are a decent amount of these little tabs that are holding these internal components in the bumper, but it's the same amount as you will find in the SL65 bumper, which I was honestly pretty shocked to find out that that was the case. And I was actually really happy at the same time. But once you have those removed, a lot of the foam parts are easily liftable. All you have to do if you do have the Parktronic is make sure those are disconnected and then all those parts and brackets should be able to lift up. Once you've removed your two foam pads, it's time to tackle the headlight washer door. There are about four tabs holding that in. Again, same exact thing as you experienced beforehand. Easy to remove, easy to lift up. And now it's time to take off the remaining brackets that are holding the rest of the bumper intact. And those, that's a little bit tricky because you have to basically separate the bumper from that mounting thing. Which honestly isn't that hard. It just needs a little bit of force. And if you have an extra hand, I had dad help me get these tabs out because I didn't want to break them. But regardless, everything that I did, the steps that I did to remove everything... Just do it in reverse. It's very easy. It's probably going to take you 15 minutes to put everything back into the new bumper. But again, I got a bumper cover. And the reason why I got a bumper cover was because this front bumper with the lip on there, I did hit a curb and it destroyed my front lip and my bumper. So I was like, okay, I might as well just get an SL65 bumper, have the ultimate looking SL55, the F1 style bumper as you will but regardless I just got the shell and the shell will take all of the mounting points from a normal SL55 bumper which is great because that means you don't have to purchase extra stuff when you do want to upgrade or give your car a little bit of a facelift. Once all those tabs are removed, the remaining portion of these parts will be able to be just nicely lifted off with a nice little tug. Make sure you don't lose any of these tabs because they are going to come in handy when you do put everything back into place. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is basically start working on removing the moldings. And removing the moldings is one of the trickiest and most difficult things I've ever done and 
The reason being is because these are stiff, the bumper moves, and they don't have any play in them. I ended up breaking my passenger one into three separate pieces. There was nothing I could do because I was either going to break my tabs or my molding. I ended up breaking up my molding into three separate pieces which i was totally like upset about but then i realized you could super glue them back together and they all super glue back into a puzzle so i did that and i didn't really care much about it simply because i plan on wrapping the car and you're not going to really see that all it needed was a little bit of sanding and it was done it was ready to go but you could see over here these tabs they're not really moving and they're really hard to get off and right here i broke it i got super upset but it's okay, just take your time when you're doing this, and eventually you'll make it and you'll get done. As far as the grill goes, that grill will actually fit inside the SL65 bumper. It's the same thing. The only thing that needs to be purchased are the two side grills, one covering the fog light and one covering the side vent on the side of the car. But I do have something planned for that, and I will show you guys that in a future video. That's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I will be answering any question you guys have because this is a very tricky process and it is super rewarding once completed properly.